Hey everyone! So this week we will be making some flying fish for our craft and they look like this. Um, and I know it's kind of hard to see from that far away, but um, they're super cute and really fun and they actually do fly sort of um, when you throw them up. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Um, we're starting with these strips of paper. They're an inch um, wide and they're half a sheet of paper so they're um, five and a half inches long. Um, so you're going to give each kid a strip and then they can take a marker and um, they can draw a face in the middle of it. I would have them probably fold it in half. This is the smaller of the size. I, I have different sizes. Um, this is a larger fish so there will be different sizes of strips. They can make small fish and larger fish. Um, have them kind of folded in half. That way they know where the middle is. And um, that's where they're going to draw their face um, for their fish. So they can draw eyes and then uh, mouth, nose, you know, whatever they want to do. And some scales on the side. Whatever they want to do, make their fish look pretty. They can do different colors, what have you. And then, so what you're gonna do is measure in about an inch, um, and then you're going to cut almost to the end, but don't cut the end, um, or too close to the end, because then it won't um, work very well. But it's going to go ahead and, like, you're gonna take this end and put it through, like, this through the little slit and I might have cut it too far there we go like that and so it makes a little fish and to draw on the tail I didn't discover this until after I had done all of my little fish um, they're gonna draw on the opposite side that they did their um, face so they're actually gonna draw the little tail on the back side if they want to do a tail at all but um, that way when it crosses the tail is on the outside so you can see little tail fins um, and that is it and I don't know if you can see it if it'll work but it's really cool yo you can't really see it in the video um, but if the if it comes apart it just you put it back together and um, it kind of twirls of course it's not gonna work for me now <laughs> um, but anyway so it does really fly. I have tried it out myself and if you drop it, it twirls kind of like the little helicopters that you, from trees, you know, those little seed pods that make helicopters when you throw them up in the air. It kind of does a little spinning, floating down to the ground. <laughs> it does work, I promise, it just doesn't work in front of the camera. <laughs> so this is our flying fish. Um, and if you can see how I cut this here, I probably cut it a little too close. Um, this one I think is probably a little bit better. It doesn't need to go all the way um, to the edge. That way it'll stay together a little bit better than this one is. This one I think I cut too close. So um, this is probably something that the adults will have to help the K through first with is the cutting um, without cutting the tail off. The second, third grade, fourth, and fifth grade should be able to do it. Um, but yeah, so those are our flying fish for this week. <laughs> 